What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another tech tip and in today's video we're going to talk about what a VPN is and why you should be using one. Check it out. In today's video we're going to go over three main parts of what a VPN is and information about VPN. We're going to start with what exactly is a VPN? It stands for a virtual private network. Basically what this is, is it's a tunnel for your internet traffic or your data traffic to go through the internet with being encrypted and without prying eyes being able to look at that information or be able to intersect that information. So we're going to kind of go over that. We're going to go over the different types of components and then of course what the benefits are as well for a VPN. To start off, we're going to go over the components. You have three main parts. You have servers, protocols, and then you have encryption. Servers are exactly what they are. The servers are another computer that actually house or store your login information for your computer to be able to connect to that VPN. And then of course you do have your protocols. Protocols are the different types of settings that are used to in order to encrypt that information or to get you logged in or get you set up on their actual server. And then of course encryption is the way that it's the term used for them to encrypt your data. So like I said, prying eyes or people trying to take your information, they can't steal it because it's been encrypted, allowing the sender and the receiver to only see that information. As you can see on this illustration here, I have an image that actually shows you internet traffic with and without a VPN service. Now first we're gonna to want to understand how your ISP or how your computer connects or talks to the internet without a VPN first in order to understand how this is going to work. So normally with your regular ISP you have your computer, then you have typically a modem or a router, most of the time in today's world that they are the same unit. You connect whether, whether it's wireless or whether it's over the ethernet, you connect your computer to the modem or router and then you connect that via a cable line or a fiber optic line or a DSL line and that modem will talk to your ISP or your internet service provider such as Comcast or Xfinity. Coming back to the illustration, you'll see on the left hand side without a VPN you have yourself who connects to your ISP, which is like I said, your CenturyLink or your Comcast, and they assign you what they call an IP address. It's, it's basically a digital address for your actual computer. And then of course that information goes out and will connect to Facebook or your news websites or anything like that. As you can see on the left and right hand side, you have a potential for hackers or government agencies or anything like that to be able to you know, uh, restrict what you access. They have different types of censorship or the hackers may want to get your social security number or your email information to be able to do some type of identity theft. Well, on the right hand side, when you have a VPN, what you do is you take your computer, you connect to the secure VPN. What that does is when you connect to that VPN, it takes away your current IP address and masks it with an IP address, a secure IP address from your VPN. And that IP address could be on any location that they have servers or any really geographical location as well. Either way, what that does is it basically creates a secure tunnel. It encrypts the data. When you send information out, it encrypts it. And when you receive information, it encrypts it as well, thus preventing hackers from getting the information or from governments being able to censor any type of, in certain regions, you know, you can't post your opinions, you can't post your thoughts or anything like that, and that's a type of censorship, and a VPN will allow you to do that. I'm gonna show you the different types of benefits that a VPN offers, and uh, we'll continue on with the topics here. So, as you can see on here, with the VPN, you can hide your IP address, you can hide your location, you can encrypt your data, and ultimately, you can browse and surf the internet anonymously, and of course, avoiding any type of government censorship or anything like that. Without a VPN, your IP address is exposed, your location is exposed because most of the time you will actually have, your internet service provider will actually give you, or your IP address is usually assigned via a geographical location. So that's exposed. And then of course your emails and your browsing information, your browsing history, none of that is encrypted or hidden because you are on a unsecured line. And that's a wrap. Thanks for watching this tech tip. If you loved it, thumbs up. Leave any type of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button while you're down there. And just one quick question before you go. If you are using a VPN service, who are you using? Leave that information in the comment section below the video as well. And we will see you next time.